Yeah. Now, okay, but but okay. Now, talk talk to me about the clinicals. Because I remember, <sighs> like, when you first when you first were doing like your first ones, you were nervous a little bit. Oh my god, so nervous. I'm gonna be honest after- with you guys. Like, my first clinical day. Well, no, my first, my whole first semester of nursing school, I woke up. Um, we did. I think it was eight hours. I don't even remember. I think it was, yeah, it's like being in the war. Like, you kind of have PTSD and you don't remember afterwards. Yeah. But um, I, I think remember. it was eight-hour clinicals, and I'd have to be there, like, seven to three or yeah. whatever. And I would wake up and cry every single day. It was so yes. hard. Quite literally. I remember, I remember, I used to wake up. And like yeah, and your school they didn't want you to have like color, like different colored hair. Yeah, like and my that. hair was red, like <laughs> yeah. redder than this is, because this is really faded right now because I've been taking bad care of it. But um, it was yeah, it was, it was like bright red, and I was like, cool, I have to, uh, you know, like change my hair color. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was like really rough because every day you're like, let me do all these things I've literally never done. Yeah. Um, with people I don't know, a clinical instructor who's been a nurse probably longer than I've been alive and doesn't remember what it's like to not be a nurse. Yeah. Which is, I'll, I'll get to this later, but, like, it is weird because, like, I've been a nurse. Um, I passed my boards in June 2019, mm-hmm. so not even a year yet, and I already don't remember how to th- not think like a nurse because <laughs> they pound it into, you, like, they beat it into your head in nursing school. And so, like... It's for the last almost three years I've been thinking like a nurse and I can't turn it off. So I don't yeah. blame my clinical instructors right. for being it's like that. But part of the whole ordeal. Yeah. yeah. So like my first, my very first um, clinical rotation in first semester, my first day, we were at um, a nursing home and my clinical instructor goes, okay, go give this patient a bed bath. And I was like. What? Just like, I like, I figured never... out by the context clues of the word, like, obviously I'm supposed to give this person a bath in their bed, but, like, I don't have kids. I've yes. never bathed someone other than myself. Like, I don't have younger siblings, nieces, and nephews. Yeah. I don't have any of that. So, that like, kind of... I was like, what? Like, I didn't work in healthcare before, so I didn't know the supplies or what they were called or what they were used for. So, okay. Pause. Yeah. So, I'm getting anxious, really anxious so thinking about it. when that first, okay, so when you first do the first initial, like, round of clinicals, you, do you, you work more as, like, a CNA? Yeah. Or, okay, yeah. Pretty much. Just, I mean, cause you, don't, you it, it kind of all depends on your clinical instructor, because they can either be really helpful or just be like, go do the bitch work, and, like, I don't care. Yeah. But, um... But... Sometimes, yeah. Cause so... Because you, you're usually most, um... Nursing schools do start you out in a uh, a nursing home just because it's like slower paced. You have less yeah. patients, and you get to learn all the stuff to get it out of the way. <laughs> so what what do the CNAs do when they're there? When when you're there? Nothing or like? The, are they just like oh cool? Yeah. Do they help you? Sometimes it de- depends, again oh, it depends on where you are and who's, like who's working. Yeah. But I yeah so many of them were so helpful. Yeah. Um, and also in nursing homes, like LPNs, at least in New York, LPNs yeah. are, um, they kind of run the show and then there's like one RN for each like wing. Yeah. So like I learned so much from the LPNs and the CNA is there. So like, I hate that whole thing where people are like, LPNs aren't real nurses. Like, no, they are. I've learned so much in my career from LPNs, even at work now, the LPNs yeah. teach me tons of stuff. Right. But then, okay, so then before people, or how do I ask the question? Um, <laughs> okay, while you're in schooling, like before you go to your first clinical, mm-hmm. in the booklet, like, do they tell you, like, is there some type of instructions before you get to the clinic? Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're not just like... So the school I went to has actually um, changed this because, like, the bed bath situation, they actually have like a whole um, lab now to learn how to do a bed bath. Okay. They taught us other stuff, like how to to um, be somewhat shown before you just like jump in. You're just like, I literally don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean? Literally. Like like, I don't know what I'm doing. You if you ask me to, well, I mean I could probably do, but like yeah. Well, you have nieces and nephews. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm not over there, like, giving them baths. But still, you know, like, like wipe ba- this way. I mean, obviously, yeah. I knew that, too. But I know Because I use the bathroom, like, yes. I'm a human, but, like... Yeah, but it's also, like, 
I was like, <laughs> what? How do I move him? What do I do? Like, yeah. and, and it even, was a guy. Yeah, and even that, too. Because I'm granted, that's like, because I know for some CNAs, like, especially when, like, you first get hired, you do, like, a, like a two-week training course or mm-hmm. something like that to even learn how to move people yeah. so you don't hurt yourself. Like, yeah. do they at least tell you guys? Yeah, they teach you how to use, like, a transfer belt okay. and, um, like, how to transfer somebody from a bed to a wheelchair. Like, they do teach you some skills, but for Is some it... reason, the bed bath thing was just completely not in the curriculum. Okay. Um, Is that much more of a, um, like reading it straight out of a book or is it like yeah. with that type of stuff it's no practice well so for the first four weeks um of the first semester we had lab instead of clinical so yes. we would go to lab for i think like two or three hours a day that's the other thing all the classes are remember. crazy long yeah um i remember we went to the open house and i saw yeah they had like dolls yeah yeah yeah. they stuff. had man like there's a whole like room and, that had mannequins yeah. and yeah okay so, so at least there's some like this is yeah, and they're like physically like they're like as big as and like as heavy as a they person. are heavier than any person I have lifted at oh, work okay. ever. Well, that's good then at least. I don't know why. I don't know what they're, <laughs> they're made just full of. Full of lead. Um, yeah, and it was also really nice because like with the amount of mannequins that were in that school, which like I didn't go to the most updated nursing school, but there's maybe twenty twenty five. So there was a pregnant woman, like a bariatric patient, which is like a really heavy patient. Um. And, like, you could do a bunch of different things with them. So, like, you kind of did learn a lot. But there's just... And a lot of people who go to nursing school are CNAs, but I wasn't. Yeah. I worked in retail until I, like, had the guts to go to nursing school. So... Yeah. So, a lot of people don't need to know how to, like, do a bed bath, but, like... I personally was like, I have no idea. Yeah, you're just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, so when you got to the, cl- the, the clinical and they were like, okay, cool, do a bed bath. Like, did you know, like, even, like, where the supplies no. and stuff like that were? You're just like, where do I even get the stuff? I mean, I think that you was... Have to, like, ask around, like... So, like, looking like back, that. I really appreciate the um, clinical instructor I had first semester because she wanted us to, like, she really just wanted to throw us into it, and I get how bad that was how bad that felt at first Mm -hmm. but like of course as a nurse you're always going to be asking other like people who work in in the healthcare team that you're involved in like where things are Mm -hmm. what they do about this because you know like everywhere is different and every patient's different and somebody might be more experienced with the patient than you are so like i think she was trying to facilitate like okay these people are here they know where everything is ask them yeah so like she was just like go do a bed bath this is your room number oh well, that's not like this is your patient's diagnosis. Like, yeah, it's like this is nothing. Okay, because it's much more of like on the job. You just show up and it's like, okay, cool. I have these. These are my patients. Yeah, I like, figured out what's mm-hmm. going on today. Um, so okay, so with the cl- so with the clinicals, and they ramped up over time. Like they got longer and longer, and like you did more and more work. Because I remember at the yeah. end you were doing much more like actual like you were in the hospital. Right. So for if the way and again everything I'm saying is based on the. Um, school I went to, I don't know, I can't speak for other schools because I don't know what they're like, but (laughs) first semester was a nursing home. Uh, second, third, and fourth semester were all in different hospitals. Mm -hmm. So I'm lucky I didn't get any repeats. I liked everywhere I was for the most part, but I'm glad that I got to, um, like experience all different hospitals and all different systems. Yes. So that was interesting. Um, but yeah, so... First semester, you each have, I found out later, actually, that um, you were supposed to go in groups of, like, two to have one patient. Oh, okay. I didn't. They She threw us right into it, and we had a, one patient each. Um, so first semester, we had one patient. Second, we had two. Third, we had three. And then fourth... Um, Technically, I think we had two patients, but we were on the whole unit, so mm-hmm. we um, just worked as like a team to take care of the whole floor. Yeah. And there's eight. There was eight people in each clinical rotation. Mm-hmm. So the eight of us had the whole floor. So when you, and then so what did the nurses do? Were they happy to see you guys? Mm-hmm. They were like, oh, yeah, I mean, in certain hospitals, checked. they would be really 
territorial. Yeah. Certain shifts, even. I'm not yeah, shitting just, on any hospital, but like. It's just people in general. Yeah. Different so some people, yeah, some people would be like, oh, let me teach you this. This is something I didn't learn in nursing school and I want to teach it to you so you don't have the same experience. Other people would be like, here's my patient, go ahead. And like, then other ones would just be like, don't touch my patient, don't go in my room, don't. Yeah. And it's like, okay, great. It's like, great. This is the one. If I have to work here, don't work with, with them. Right. 